Okay, I am Dr. Karthike Mangalam, and today I'm excited to talk to you about my company, SigIQ.ai, and what we are doing with AI tutoring. So over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you a personalized AI tutor that works in a Zoom call. It's basically a Zoom call with an AI tutor. You just get on the Zoom like you would with a human tutor, and the tutor can listen to you, it can talk to you, it would think on the call, it would draw stuff on the UI for you, it will highlight diagrams, it will sketch, and it will do a bunch of other things that are natural for human tutors to do. I'm pretty confident to say that the kind of stuff that I'm gonna show here would have been simply impossible to even achieve just three months ago. At the start of this year, it would be impossible to make this kind of AI work, which we can now do in April. And also, most likely, this is the most advanced AI tutor that's in this room, and we are in B17. If you feel that's not true, or if you wanna try it out, just come over, walk over to us. We have a live demo we could show you. But because there's internet issues, here I'm gonna show you a pre-recorded version. So very quickly, what are we doing? Why are we building an AI tutor? So that my motivation to build this tutor is my own personal background. So I grew up in India. I went to school in India, and I went to a place which, if you look at the Indian map, the map doesn't have it. There's literally that town you can't find on the Indian maps. That's where I grew up in, and that's the public education system I went through. But then, through a bunch of my own merits, and definitely a lot of luck, I ended up at Stanford. I did my master's from Stanford and PhD in AI from UC Berkeley. And so I have sampled the both extremes of education. The extreme in my hometown, where there were class and student teacher ratios of one is 200, and the other extreme, where I would get a personal tutor to teach me on my homework problems when I couldn't get them right at Stanford. And so my vision with SigIQ is to build AI technology that enables the scaling that personal tutor that one has at elite universities, but for people globally. And to not gatekeep it beyond tens of thousands of dollars a quarter, but at the price point of computation, at the price point of a couple dollars an hour. We're all familiar with the Bloom's to Sigma problem, so I'm gonna skip it. If you don't know much about this, I encourage you to look this up. There's a brilliant talk from Sal Khan talking about this problem. And here's me in future in Studio Ghibli style with an AI tutor that would teach me how to be a better presenter once my project with SigIQ is done. So here's why do we need new tutors? The room is chock full of AI tutors. There are people who will do everything with AI. Why do, why, like why does we need, why the world needs SigIQ? The problem is the following. Big walls of text are bad UX. Nobody wants to read tons and tons of mathematical equations day in, day out. No student wants to go through that. There is no state. It just forgets what you have talked about with it yesterday. Every new query to a LLM, Anthropic, Claude, whatever, is just a new day for the LLM. It doesn't understand nonverbal cues. That would be pretty frustrating if you would talk to somebody and the only thing that it understands is what you specifically, intentionally, very clearly put out. Humans, of course, understand other people's facial recognitions, emotions, AI tutors should do that too, and ours does it. I'll show you in our demo. And then finally, it's passive. It requires you to get to it and ask it a question. A tutor would not be that passive. It would be more active. It would be there to solve your problems. It would motivate you. It would come to your uh, area to actually make you do better. It wouldn't wait for you to go and ask you a question about an essay. And of course, all of these I have highlighted because these are the problems which we are solving with our own AI tutoring technology. So I'm gonna show you that in our demo in a few minutes. So this demo is recorded, but I will stop it in the middle and I will talk over it so as to explain better what's going on. The entire thing is a live product. This is, not, this is something you can just go and try. We have a whole mic and booth set up at B17 for you to try it. But for now, here's the version.
Welcome. I have a few lessons for today. Let's jump in. Wow, this passage seems really dense. How do I even approach this? So notice that the student doesn't have to type this out. It's all voice. You can just go to a question and you can say, I don't know what to do here. Tell me. Yeah, this passage is definitely overwhelming at first, but it really boils down to just these three key points. Hansberry supports the American dream, but acknowledges its flaws. The play's irony serves as deliberate social commentary by Hansberry. So again, the actual content of what the tutor is saying doesn't matter, but what matters is while it is saying it, it's highlighting the information on the screen. And there isn't big walls of text to read. You can just follow along and see what is being talked about. Much more natural, like a it human tutor does. It reconciles black self-esteem with human unity. Does that simplify the passage for you? That's much better. It doesn't just work on English. It can deal with complex math diagrams all the way level to K-12. It can even draw on diagrams. It can highlight diagrams and a sketch on it much more like a normal tutor. How do I figure out theta for calculating the arc length QR? Let's analyze this step-by-step step using the diagram. By the property of inscribed angles, we know that the central angle QOR equals twice of the inscribed angle QPO, which is given as 30 degrees, same as pi over six. Hence, theta equals twice of that, which is pi over three. Now, can you attempt the rest of the problem? Yep, thanks. Non-verbal cues. The tutor doesn't just work on text and it doesn't just work on voice. It actually has a camera feed. If you so choose, it can look at you, understand your facial expression and modulate its tutoring according to you. So here's Shrey and here's him using our product. Hey, you seem a little unsure about this. If you're feeling stuck or confused, we can go over this together. Tutor would recognize from your expressions that that's something that you need help with. It understands the language of silence and would then use to be a more effective tutor. Actually, that will be pretty helpful. No problem, happy to help. Here's two scenarios. The same question, but scenario one is a very strong, confident student that is well prepared and has the light vocabulary to tackle this question. I think the answers are chatty and I think loquacious, but I'm not 100% sure. Can you confirm? Great reasoning, you're absolutely correct. Both chatty and loquacious fit the context here. Loquacious means very talkative, so it aligns perfectly with someone who slowly opens up and becomes more outgoing around friends. Excellent work. And here's the same question, exactly the same setup, but now a student that's not as confident and requires more help understanding what's going on. I'm not sure how to approach this question. Reticent means shy, right? No worries at all. Let's tackle this together. You're absolutely right that reticent means shy or reserved. Now let's focus on the contrast here. She starts off shy, but eventually becomes something around friends. Since the sentence describes a shift from shyness to openness, both chatty and loquacious, which also means talkative, fit perfectly. Words like withdrawn or taciturn, which are opposite of talkative, would contradict the meaning. So that's personalized adaptive learning right there, done in an engaging manner, not just big walls of text. Does that help? Of course, it's obviously hard for students to follow text around. Sometimes there are equations, there's math, there's stuff you need to take what home with you. What is the area you. of this There's built-in note-taking in the Zoom step. session. First, so while the tutor is speaking, it's gonna write things out, just like a human tutor would do on a whiteboard or on a blackboard. And this all will get shipped to you over email as notes that you can refer to after your Zoom session is over. Triangle is 25. I don't understand the word loquacious. How do I remember what it means? Of course, a Let's bunch of other helpful stuff that would go into student support, mnemonics, motivation, planning, assessments, mock tests, 
all of this are built in to the AI portal and the AI would go through all of this on Zoom calls with you. I wouldn't show it here for sake of time, but do come out and check it at B17. Thank you.